find the measure of angle T. This time we need to find an angle. So let's, uh, let's start by labeling the triangle. Um, I have side R here, and I know that the side opposite that is little r. I want to find the angle T, so the side opposite, this 11, is little t, not little r. Sorry about that. And let's write down the law. We're going to use the law like this. Sine r over r is equal to sine t over t. Remember what I said before, it doesn't matter the letters, so long as it's the ratio of the sine of the angle divided by the opposite side. Let's plug in what we know. We know r, angle r, so let's put that in. Sine 48. We know side r is 9. We want to find the sine of t, but we know side t is 11. All right. Now, we can do a couple of things here. We can multiply both sides by 11 first, but I think once again, what I would do is I would m calculate the side we know all of the information on first. So if I do the sine of 48 divided by 9, I get 0.0825. Five, seven, equal to the sine of t over 11. I'd, I'd do that first. You'll probably make less errors. So let's multiply both sides by 11 to get the sine of t by itself. And we get 0 0.90828. Equal to the sine of t. I would hold a few decimal places there just to make sure that your uh, angle that we find is accurate. Now we can use the calculator and find the angle by using the sine inverse, which is probably second function sine on your calculator. And I get 65.27 degrees. So there's all the steps. You've now, uh, we've found an angle. We found a side. There's not a lot of variation there. Um, an introduction. I think you should be good for the sine law questions.